What is going on, guys? We're back with another video, and we are in our Chargers online user franchise in the championship game versus the Ravens, who, of course, do not have Lamar Jackson, who would have been the starter, but I believe he got hurt sometime late in the season. Uh, so that's unfortunate for him, but that obviously I will take because I'd much rather have to go against Joe Flacco than Lamar Jackson. It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious in that sense. Looking for weekly players, Jacoby and Desmond King both get the award for the AFC side. Whoever wins this goes to the Super Bowl. If we win this game, that's back-to-back -back Super Bowl trips. We're obviously a favorite to do so, but we got to go in and do it. And Ballage, or Ballage, Ballage, hey. Ballage uh, gets about 15 yards. Then he gets another 15 yards on the face mask. Right there, right up the gut, we had him with Jatavis. He spins out of it, but we do still bring him down for pretty much the same exact uh, loss. And here, Joe Flacco, I mean, you see if that's Lamar, he easily gets a first. He got 10 with Joe. So uh, not looking super hot on defense. Third and two, though, from the 30. We can get off the field here and do we? I think we were apparently not. I don't know how. I know Ballage is a big trucking back, but this D-line should not be getting pushed like that by him. Uh, third and six now for the 24-yard line. Looking for a stop and... How that isn't picked, I don't know. And because his quarterback is Joe and not Lamar, that's probably a pick six. So he gets three instead of what should probably be a seven to zero game. Not going to lie. Very unfortunate. I don't know how many times Jatave has ever dropped a pick. Maybe two times out of two seasons. Right up the gut. Great user by him. Saw the, uh, saw the lane open, and we've done that a couple of times. But it's been a while since we have. So that's a huge play for him. Second and 18. We do get Hunter Henry, who holds on. Going to get most of the yards back, but it's still going to be a third and eight, which isn't super easy to get. Two intersecting routes and do not catch the ball. I was very lucky that it wasn't picked, but Hunter was in a good spot, I suppose. But yeah, we're not going to get points. We're going to have to punt the ball. Ballage, another first down. So he's running the ball with pretty decent success, if we're going to be completely honest here. Uh, we really need to get a stop, and there, that helps quite a bit. I know it's only a five-yard sack, but the DT barely catches him. Once again, the factor of... Having to play against Joe instead of Lamar is huge here. Underneath, and there's the pick we were looking for. Desmond King gets a pick, and he's going the wrong way. <laughs> to the 20, though, so we're in a good spot here. 3-0 to zero with ball from the 20. Looking for someone open. A little curl route to Keenan. How in the world does Keenan drop that? Probably a top five possession receiver in this league. I don't know. He just doesn't. Melvin gets the catch, and he's going to be about three yards short. So we get three points instead of what could have maybe been a touchdown. I don't know. We would have been at the nine-yard line with a first down. Who knows? I suck in the red zone or in the goal line. So I'm going to say either way it would have been uh, probably a field goal. I'm not super confident here, to, you know, down in the goal line. So, uh, you know, that drive was completely fair there. We get a sack, and uh, I believe we get the ball back. I mean, I know we get the ball back, but I didn't know that was actually the play. Melvin Gordon and... Great user by him. I, You know, normally people are used to seeing cuts and spins, but I just try to outrun him there. And uh-oh, thank God. The running back literally got eight and up in there. He takes a little bit rough of an angle. I, I don't know, maybe hesitated because in fairness, it was going to be a 50-50 ball. Probably should have let the AI have that, and it would have most likely been broken up. But instead, we get a very fortunate first down, uh, a big first down by Tyrell. And Melvin almost follows suit. It's now second and three. Eckler to the left side. He scores a lot of touchdowns from these. I had to cut back in to pick up the block. And somehow we fumble. I mean, a hit stick it happens. But unfortunate fumble. And, of course, he hurdles and doesn't fumble. So it's just like a real big slap to the face, you know. And there's Jay Ajayi. Uh, didn't expect to see him so late. There's another pick. Please, how many drop picks are we going to have this game? You know at some point both teams are going to heat up. So... I would prefer us not to drop picks, and finally we catch one. A die, the very slow man, has enough speed to take this back, though, and the flag hopefully was on the offense, and it was finally a pick six. Whew. Okay, let's let's calm down a little bit. Let's uh, let's get back on track. There, I thought King was going to make a pick there. It didn't happen. Great catch. Third and two, probably really a third and one. Uh, you know, the, the number doesn't really matter. It's actually what you need, and there's a good call. Thought it was the swing. Tricked me. I kind of got caught on the line. Good first down. Second and eight from the 47-yard line. Only about three and a half minutes left in the second. Throwing into it. Look at Jatavis. Jatavis is known for making those plays. He's so fast. One of the fastest, best linebackers in the league. And where is 
Casey's hands. He, I will say, in all fairness, when it comes to dropping picks, it makes sense because Casey's known for that for me. I don't know why, but he just is. Uh, I don't know how he didn't get it. You know, he didn't luckily even tried to go for the pick there. Tyrell Williams gets the first, and uh, you know, hey, we're moving. We're moving up seven. Uh, looks like we could get a two possession lead. Jesus, that was close. Wish Henry would have held on to that. Usually he does for us, but he doesn't this time. Second and ten. No one really open. Smart to uh, just take off with it. It's going to be a yard short. Maybe I should have risked the fumble. I don't know. I really don't know. Just trying to get this first down. It's a rough one. Tyler Lockett gets us a little bit of separation so he doesn't take that hit right off the pop. And uh, he gets the first down. So 43 yards away from scoring a touchdown. And here's a nice little run for Melvin who gets the first down. Clock is non-factor for us. Really, the only factor it is is we want to get it down even more, if anything. Melvin gets some blocks. Melvin's going to get about four or five there. Really got to start running the ball a little bit more because it, it's working more than I give it credit for. S uh, third and two here. Looking to the outside. Hunter Henry with the touchdown. That's what we're looking for. This is looking pretty good. I know we've caught a couple of unlucky breaks, but at the same time, uh, we're still finishing. We're still doing well. We're making things happen. Here, though, if he can get some sort of points before half, that would be big for him. And here, there's just no pressure. He's got a lot of blockers in there. There's no one open. He's in a misdirection him on the playmaker and overthrows him by an inch. Unfortunate there. Joe Flacco not off to a great start. Second and 10. Can we get off the field inside? What was that? Derwin, the best safety in the league. I don't know what the hell he did there, but the tight end basically face catches him. That is unfortunate. I wish he would have just cut the damn swat. But he doesn't. To the outside, this could be the last play. Probably will go for a field goal, and he will. So start of the second half. We're in pretty good control here. To the outside, Hunter Henry. How he drops that, I don't know. Too many drops this game. We need to make those plays. Third and eight now. Uh, looking for someone open inside. Well, it makes up for that because Tyler Lockett made one of the best catches we've seen on our team all season long. To the outside, looking for him. No one open. X maybe. I don't know. Throw this away. We're going to take a shot deep. It is, to be fair, third and 13. It was worth the risk. Hunter Henry, one time, please. I know it's a double coverage. I can't expect it, but just just surprise me, man. I, I just do it. There goes Jatavis. Nice clear up. There was a lot, of, a lot of space there. So Jatavis potentially saving a score. And there goes another uh, play by the D lineman, Melvin Ingram, but he can't get it done. Uh, first and 10 now from the 26-yard line, about five minutes in the third. Pretty much anyone's game at this point. I know it's looking good for us. Oh, no. That is all my fault. What are we doing? And he's going to score with the tight end for 74 yards. Of course, down by five. He's going to go for two, and we are going to completely stuff that run attempt. So we're still up by five. All right, all right. Things are getting a little bit more real now. Looking for that, and that's a great play to leave Calvin, uh, Calvin, Travis Benjamin wide open. Second and three after a running play, I would assume. Rolling out to the left. Jacoby's got room, looking for X. Great throw. Tyrell Williams takes it to the 35-yard line. Looking pretty good. Three minutes and 30 seconds in the third from the 35-yard line. Brings the pressure, but Henry barely gets open in time. We get the first down from the 22-yard line. Melvin Gordon to the outside, and there's a face mask. Uh, Keenan Allen makes his block. We might have scored there. Third and 14 after a couple unfortunate plays. If we get a field goal, we'll be back up by eight. So no risky business here. Just, just take what you can get if you can. Can't. So we're going to throw it away. We're going to leave the door open, though. Eight points is nice, but obviously that's one possession. So he can tie the game up on this drive, but he won't with Desmond King getting an interception. Spinning out of the way and getting to about the 39-yard line. One minute left. If you can just get a field goal, it'll look okay. You know, it'll look it'll look decent. Melvin gets caught up on his own guard. Third and seven. Play action. Great block pickup. Looking for someone open. Don't really have it. Looking for Tyrell and another drop. I know it's a hit stick, but one of these times. Please hold on to it. And, of course, he's going to take a return on the kick here. And there's nobody in sight. The kicker had him. Why didn't he grab him? And that's going to be a kick return touchdown. Please, can we get the fundamentals right? If we have a pick, catch it. If we have, uh, you know, a tackle opportunity, tackle him. Why are we making stupid mistakes? 
here. He tries to make a play with Joe, and I thought he had it, but he didn't. So instead of what could have been a three-point game, it's going to be back to five after the two failed two-point conversions inside Tyrell Williams. Another drop. Ten time, a top ten receiver can't catch a single in-traffic play. It's, I mean, one of these times it's got to happen, right? Melvin Gordon cuts up field, gets about eight or nine. It's going to be a third and two start of the fourth. It's clearly anyone's game at this point. To the outside, Eckler, the safest route I know, to be honest. It doesn't always work, but that's usually my go-to if I haven't run that play too much. Here to the outside, the backup tight end actually gets about 12 or 13. Nice little effort there after the catch. Seven minutes left, first in 10 from the 50. Looking for someone. He gets an instant rush, and of course we fumble. As everything is going wrong, it continues to be the case. It wasn't even a hard hit. I wasn't throwing when I – actually, maybe I was throwing when I uh, got hit. I don't know, but how is that a fumble? You got to hold on, Jacoby. This is clutch territory. And inside, there's nobody there. Everyone's sitting underneath. He gets the possession catch. Going to go down to the 14-yard line. Five and a half minutes in the fourth. His running back gets absolutely popped on the play. Third and four now from the eight. Got to get off the field. This is a huge play. Obviously, everyone knows that he's going to run the ball, and he's going to get stopped somehow there. Very fortunate. Up by two. Three and a half minutes left. Second and eight. Looking for someone open. Not seeing that person open. Hunter Henry is wide open, speaking of. And Hunter Henry is going to go out of bounds, taking it down to the 22-yard line. First and 10. Three minutes, 20 seconds. Of course, we need to start running the ball, and that's what we're going to do. Left tackle just gives up the play there. 10 rushes for 19 yards. You guys wonder why we're not running the ball much? That's your answer. Outside is open. That was very close to a pick, but also almost a catch. What a laser. We get three. Two minutes left in the fourth. He's going to take a run play. One man to beat. Can't get it, but he still gets a good first down on the play. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Standing in the pocket. Has a bit of time. Throws it underneath and gets out of bounds. It's a nice, safe play. Uh, he's moving the ball nicely. Third and one here. It probably looks like a run. We're locked in man, so this could be bad. He is going to run it. And here, uh-oh, one man to beat. But is Derwin the best safety in the league? Derwin gets beat. How, Derwin? How? I mean, it would have been a rough one anyways. It would have been like at the 20, 25-yard line. But, Derwin, you got to make that tackle. You're literally the best safety in the league. And look at the high point. Finally gets that two-point conversion, and it's a very clutch one. It puts him up three. So a field goal ties the game. Finally trailing. It's been, haven't been trailing since the first quarter. There we go. Tyrell, hold on. He does. Whew. Couple of hits this game. He's been dropping them. Finally holds on. And uh, now it's a first and 10. Throwing a tough one there. Jesus, that ball went flying way out of bounds. 32 seconds left from the 22. Third and two. We have one timeout. Going to try to hold on to that. The tight end's wide open underneath. Gets the first down, goes out of bounds, late hit, slides off. He don't care. He's got Gronk's number. He's going to play like him. First and 10, stepping out, and that was a risky one. Thank God he didn't catch it, to be fair, because that would have pretty much ended the drive. Well, maybe not, actually. It would have been actually a really good position to be in. And here, going to throw it underneath to the tight end again, who's going to get a decent gain fighting. We're going to call a timeout. 14 seconds left. Basically, the last play of regulation. Don't want to risk this one. Try to roll out to the right, and I'm just going to throw it away ahead. B, I think I actually tried to throw it to him. It just didn't happen. Last play of regulation after tying the ball. I probably should have actually showed the field goal. Tying the game up, and of course, Melvin Ingram gets the sack. We are headed to overtime in the AFC Championship game. Could you have asked for a better game? If, I mean, if you haven't liked the video at this point, what the hell are you doing, you know? What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> the second and 11. Uh, throwing it inside. Casey Hayward, brick hands, McGee, always dropping picks. That would have been a nice one to have. But I don't expect much from him ever anymore. Third and 11. Where's the swat by Jalen? Oh, no. To the 49. It's all right. It's all right. We're tough defense. We can get through this thing. Taking a shot. Derwin drops it now, and the worst part is he had a good chance to return that baby I mean, at least maybe 20 yards at minimum. He's a good player. He has you know, legs, as all the players in the field do. Third and eight. Gets sacked. Fumbles. 
Can we recover, please? No? Okay, first and 10, 14 yard line. A field goal wins this game under pressure. Thrown into traffic, and we throw an interception, and he's got room to return it. If we don't block the field goal, we are going home. I can't call a timeout to ice it, and we lose the game. All right, so, uh, I mean, obviously there was some iffy things, uh, you know, in the game, really both sides. I mean, I'd say obviously a little bit more towards us, but that's a terrible decision. Great job by him getting pressure off that edge. Uh, Taylor Decker been really suspect all game long, and it came at the right time. It was a first down play. That's the thing I regret the most. It was a first down interception. You can't throw a pick on first down. That is embarrassingly bad. He managed the game as well as he... I mean, to be fair, you look at the stats and they're very similar. It's just he had a more balanced game. Obviously, there's a lot of plays that I wish he could have back. There's plays that he wish he could have back where, you know... I, I mean, it's not like he was the only one that dropped a pick. There was a couple that he could have had. You know, a couple of our fumbles kind of sucked, but... I don't even know how many fumbles we had, but it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Uh, it was a close one. We got to overtime. We got the stop we needed. And once again, we ch I mean, it's not really once again, but we choked it there. We, we just we didn't get it done. We slowly let the game get away. That kick return touchdown really was the big opening he needed, and he took it, and he won the game. Uh, I really wanted to represent the AFC again, and we just couldn't. It was a fun one. We now have this final season to uh, – well, not really final, but you know what I mean. Our final season to, uh, to tack on that extra Super Bowl to become a dynasty from the first year. So – it's going to be a lot of pressure on us. Uh, unfortunately, he did also lose to uh, Rod and his Eagles. I know everyone loves to hate him, so <laughs> whatever. I don't know what the hell kind of sound that was, but it was a great season for everyone. It was a fun one. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull it off, but congrats to Zachariah. That's not his name, but it could be. I mean, who knows? I don't know. Uh, and uh, that's unfortunate, but we have next season. We had a nice uh, run still. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to see the you choked comments or uh, he got lucky. Um, you had X wide open at 10, 15. I don't know. But hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, we have a huge trade, by the way. See ya.